Alita Battle Angel 277, The Night of Ideas. Scene 1, Celebratory Chaos. The bar pulsed with energy, neon lights reflecting off the girls' excited faces as they danced and laughed, celebrating their hard-won victory. Erica slammed down her drink, eyes gleaming. This night is ours. Let's not stop until Iron City is safe from all those bitch-ass motherfuckers. Scene 2, Ideas Flowing Like Beer. As the night wore on, the energy shifted from mere celebration to serious strategizing. Sitting around a table cluttered with empty glasses, the smoke and sentinels began to brainstorm. What if we use those nanobots for more than just surveillance? Lynn suggested, a mischievous grin spreading across her face. Imagine if they could follow every single person in Iron City. Like little spies? Nano added, flicking her cigarette into an ashtray. I could program them to track anyone who poses a threat. Scene 3. Doc Ito joins in. Doc Ito, who had been nursing a drink in the corner, overheard their conversation and joined them. I can manufacture about a million of those little bastards each day, he declared, his eyes lighting up. We could have an army of nanobots buzzing around, monitoring every move, every scheme. Fuck yes! Erica cheered, slamming her fist on the table. Imagine the chaos we could cause. We could use them to infiltrate enemy territory. Scene 4. Fortifying the hideout. Let's think about fortifying our hideout, Alita suggested, her voice steady and commanding. We need to camouflage it. No one should be able to find us, no matter how hard they try. Agreed, Lynn replied. Maybe we could install some kind of cloaking technology. If those bitches can't see us, they can't target us. Or we can create traps, Arika chimed in her eyes shining with excitement. Explosive traps? I love the sound of that. Scene 5. The Kamikaze Threat As ideas bounced around, Nano's expression shifted to one of seriousness. But we need to consider the possibility of airstrikes. What if they send airplanes to Kamikaze our hideout? Or what if they drive their vehicles straight into our sanctuary? The table fell silent, the weight of her words settling in. They'll use everything as a weapon. The Doc Ito added grimly, We can't underestimate the lengths they'll go to take us down. Scene 6. The strategy deepens. What if we rigged something to our defenses? Lynn proposed, excitement creeping back into her tone. If they try to drive a car in, we could have nanobots swarm the vehicle, disabling it before it even gets close. And what about the planes? Arika said. We can't let them bomb us from above. We need some kind of countermeasure. I could work on a defense system that can intercept incoming threats, Doc Ito suggested. With enough nanobots, we can create a protective dome that deflects any incoming projectiles. Scene 7. Global plans unfolding. We should also consider the global situation, Alita said, her brow furrowing. What about the weapons in China, Russia, and those Arabic countries? They won't just roll over because we're in charge. We can send nanobots to locate and vaporize their weapons manufacturing facilities, Nano suggested, smoke curling from her cigarette. We have to eliminate their nukes, tanks, and everything else. Yeah, let's turn their big, tough armies into piles of dust, Arika laughed, taking a long drag. I'm all for it. Scene 8, the strategy session. The discussion grew heated as they refined their plans. Lynn pointed out potential flaws, while Erica proposed outrageous solutions, and Doc Ito calculated the feasibility of each suggestion. I'll make sure our nanobots can infiltrate their systems, he assured them. We'll be able to see and hear everything they're planning. Scene 9. The Morning After. As dawn approached, they finally decided to call it a night. The girls stumbled back to their hideout. Giddy with excitement and a little drunk, their heads swirling with the possibilities of their plans. Tomorrow, we'll start rolling out the nanobots, Alita declared, her voice steady. We'll take control of this city and then the world. Scene 10. The calm before the storm. The sunlight poured into their hideout as they gathered around Doc Ito's workstation, the atmosphere buzzing with anticipation. They were ready to take on whatever came their way. Let's get this party started, Arika yelled, lighting a cigarette and blowing out a cloud of smoke. World domination doesn't wait for anyone to be continued.